Hey you, yeah, you. Have you ever wondered if there's a game genre that doesn't have anything outstanding? Like every game genre out there, it's popular, COD or Hero. Yes, I have found one. Here's how it began. So one day, me and Vifu were talking nostalgia and Robofish when I found something on the side of my vision. A happy aquarium. We will talk about this game more, but this is the simple take. Facebook Wish Care game uh, that actually was pretty good. Uh, mini games, rarity, even seasonal events. I got nostalgic, so I wanted to find a game like it. It took me five hours and I didn't find one. What? This genre is untouched, it's empty, there's nothing like Happy Aquarium. I feel like a flat earther saying this, it's like conspiracy. The longest I went into was finding a game called Fish with Attitude. Seemed similar? Unlike Fish Life, surprising enough, it was hard to find the download. I eventually went through some quite shady tunnels to get download. Unfortunate. Hey, wait a minute! This was made by the same people who made Happy Aquarium! Phyllis, this goes deep. So there's the story as I get it. Zynga started a game about fish care on Facebook. It was called Fishville. The game worked in your standard pet care sim format. Come in daily, clean and feed, graphics weren't much to talk about and overall seemed meh. Game at long, nice though. And then December 5th, 2012, it shut down. Weirdly enough, made by the same people who made Happy Aquarium, but by that point Happy Aquarium came out on October 2009. Happy Aquarium had its last update on June 15, 2020 and shut down on the 12th of November due to technical reason. I'd assume it was uh, the flash shutdown. But that's not it, because I found an article from 2022 that, uh, in English that Facebook admitted to manipulating underage users into in-game purchases, information smuggling through games like Happy Aquarium. Although this may not be the main reason, it's very interesting they failed to mention it in the shutdown Q&A. Actually, almost avoid answering any question, but that's not it. There's the third game, Fish with Attitude, the one we talked about earlier. This game was from the 1st of May 2013. That was closed on the 31st of December in 2017. All the shady for me, I'll ignore some things for simplicity. Why there were three games? Let's collect some data first. Craters, Fishful, Zynga. Game was shut down on December 5th, 2012. I found no info on the team. Company was by, bought by Take TV Interactive in January 2022. Happy Aquarium. It says 101 XP Game Studios on the Facebook page, but other sources say Crowdstar. Crowdstar was hid in any presence of Happy Aquarium and appears to be abandoned. Facebook in 2012, about three years after Happy Aquarium was made. Appears 101 XP bought the rights to Happy Aquarium. The downfall came in with Happy Aquarium being monopolized. After the decision, somewhere in the turn, uh, access to the game, the subscription, basically removing 70% of the players. Strangest thing, again, is that 101 XP also had hidden all traces of the game. It's not like they don't want to know about it. Most of what 101 does is manage Avatar Life, which is a comparatively mediocre mobile Hindu. Fish with Attitude, Glue Games Inc. No direct info on person behind it. In fact, the official website has hidden the game. It's almost completely gone. Only lead was a link orientated with the Microsoft Store. Basically, it's zero leads. But this may not be the end. Let's let some light into this. They shut down the multiple creators who made the game. And why did they have to move? How comes there's no other like it? If you have any info on the subjects, leave a comment, or better yet, go to the Happy Aquarium Wiki. Let's see what we can get together. Well, on the last one, I've started to wonder, perhaps I could make my own spirit to success to the game. Might be fun, plus I don't know what it's supposed to be like. I even don't know how to program. Anyways, have a good day.